morning guys welcome back to a new video uh, if you are new to the channel then don't forget to subscribe and follow me on instagram as well um it is early in the morning it's 10 or something and i just finished my workout got a shower finished my makeup and now it is time for coffee so let's make something So, cheers, here I have my uh, little oatmeal cappuccino, well it's actually not really a cappuccino, um, this is a coffee alla sana, because a cappuccino is normally an espresso shot with uh, foamed milk, and I make a double espresso, uh, I make an americano out of this, so I add like hot water, and then I add a uh, hot oat milk, Ooh. Oh, I hate myself. Um, so yeah, this is like my favorite to-go coffee. And I feel I only can make this. I can never find this in a good like coffee shop, whatever. So I just love to make like this coffee at home. And honestly, oat milk is one of my favorite milks as well. Because for some reason, I can never have a glass of like almond milk or cashew milk or anything. Oat milk just tastes delicious and I can steam it very easy. So you can actually make like good cappuccino. Sometimes with like almond milk, that's a bit hard. Mm. But yeah, in the meantime, I am going to um, paint my nails because... Because this um, doesn't look very good. <laughs> and I actually have a very nice like new color. This is from Essie and I like it because it's new but it still covers up everything and this is the 665 topless and barefoot that's a funny name um so anyway I was going through like a lot a lot of uh the YouTube comments and I just love to like read what you guys are saying or feedback from you guys and like respond it and I got a lot of questions actually about like Hey, can can you do like a video about um, about modeling and how I got into it? So I thought that would be fun to do today. So while I'm having my coffee and I'm doing my nails, multitasking, uh, we're gonna have a little chat. So how did I got into this whole industry and how did I became a model? Um, it all started when I was really young. Um, 13, 14, I was always doing a lot of acrobatics and I did this in a couple or with three people and this is kind of gymnastics but you make like towers, you throw each other, it's not cheerleading but kind of and um, I was doing like competitions and when I was 14 I was doing this with another guy and um, he signed us up for the TV show Holland's Got Talent big famous talent show you guys probably have this in your own country as well like America's uh, got talent or England's got talent wherever you're from and I really didn't want to join because I was like no I was way too shy to be on TV and I was like no stupid TV show I don't want to join and a lot of my friends convinced me and they were like ah just do it so I was like okay and I gave it a try so I joined the TV program, we got through the first round and um, we were almost in the live shows actually, but that's a whole other story. Um, a day after it aired on TV, I got a message on Facebook from a modeling scout in Amsterdam. And I got, I got messages before on Facebook and I never really trusted it. But this seemed very legit because they had a lot of like big models, so I responded and that week I went with my parents to Amsterdam to uh, to meet them and you know I was still I was still a baby I had braces I was 14 uh, I was not tall enough I was super small actually but my parents were very long so we could see that I was gonna grow a little bit more but I was a baby and from that moment I uh, did like one or two test shoots a year just to see like how did I like it how does it feel in front of the camera and I had to finish my school first and I really wanted to do this 
my model agent really wanted me to do that and my parents so this is also what i want to recommend to everyone out there if you're going to be a model if you're thinking about it first finish school it is so so important that you have a backup and that you finish your high school and that you actually um have options afterwards like oh if the modeling doesn't work out or if you don't like it that you can go back to school i feel it's really really important to always educate yourself so i was just doing like one or two test shoots uh one or two test shoots a year when i was 18 and graduated i um, started my full-time modeling career in paris I moved to Paris and I was working there and it actually went really well but I do have to say that I didn't speak French at that time and I found it really really hard to connect with people there you know because I just didn't speak the language and I always felt a little bit of an outsider I didn't really have a lot of friends there so in the weekends I would often take a train back home which was only three hours and um, spend time with like friends or anything but I was really enjoying Paris I was eating the most delicious food baguettes and pastries and whatever and a half year in that kind of showed a little bit I it was not like that I was out of shape but I just kind of got this a little round face and I had to start uh, working on it so I went back to Holland and I feel this is really the moment where I got interested in healthy eating and working out so I was at home and I trained for like a couple of weeks and I had a goal in mind because I wanted to go to New York and I was like I'm gonna make it this year to New York and I want to try it out I want to see how the modeling goes and if it doesn't work out I will go back to school I wanted to study social sciences anthropology or philosophy like in that kind of ring so I was like training a lot at home and I came for the first time in New York in that summer and I was going to start with New York Fashion Week which I was super excited but also very nervous about and I was I remember this I was doing like 12 castings a day running around the city for like one week straight and I didn't get feedback at the beginning because everything in this industry is really last minute which is sometimes really really tough because you never really know what uh, what you're up to or like what's going to happen so at one point I got a phone call from my agent and he was like you have to go to the Jason Boo fitting now you got the show and I was like and I was actually freaking out I went there and that was my first uh, New York Fashion Week show and that's I feel where it all started I did many shows in New York uh, Troy Bird, Michael Kors and Ralph Lauren uh, then I went to Paris, New York, London, Milan and I was doing all the fashion weeks in a row you know and it's such a big thing for me because I'm from the countryside so to be from one moment to the other moment like on the catwalk in all these cities is just like an crazy but amazing uh amazing experience so yeah afterwards i started shooting like campaigns and like editorials and i was traveling around the world and so yeah that's kind of how i rolled in the industry and how i started and also a lot of people asked me like okay so what are like the downsides of the modeling industry and um yes they are there i mean you always see like the most picture perfect um on Instagram or like on videos but the modeling industry is also a very hard and tough business I was traveling alone for three years straight uh, every day airplane studio hotel and sometimes you arrive in the most amazing spots but you know you're all alone and sometimes it's really nice if you could share that with someone so it's a I would say it is like a little bit of a lonely business and you really need to maintain your self-care because you always need to look sharp you always need to be in shape you need to get through the jet lags um, and this is sometimes like really crazy and also all the confirmations of jobs are so last minute so i missed a lot of like birthdays and 
celebrations of my friends and family and yeah for me that's that's one of the most important things in life and just missing those little things is sometimes just very hard you know what it is i feel every job has its pros and its cons and it's always like finding the right balance but yeah i found that sometimes uh i find that sometimes very hard as well and um, or if I was on a holiday, I got a phone call, hey, you have to fly to London tomorrow, or hey, can you jump on a plane right now to Paris? And those like changes and that you never know what's going to happen can sometimes be very stressful because you can't like plan anything. Mm. So, so my first year in New York City, uh, my agent called me and was like, hey, uh, the day after tomorrow, the PS casting is there. Can you please go? And I was like, uh whoa i've been watching that show forever and i was like oh my god okay well i was brand new to the whole industry and i just went in there and i was not prepared no training i didn't do my hair i didn't do my makeup i had no clue i had no idea what was happening and i didn't got the show the feedback was that um, they really liked me but i was a little bit too new which i totally understand so the year after I knew the VS casting was coming up so I started working out, I started training and I looked on my best and um, I actually couldn't go to the casting because I was shooting a Ralph Lauren campaign in Miami the same days but the casting director John Fiverr made a video of me and he showed it to the VS team and that's how I got booked so when i heard that i was just like freaking out and i was like wow this was one of the many goals of my modeling career i feel this also kind of shows that sometimes if you try something like the first time or the second time it won't work out but if you keep working hard if you keep focused and keep motivated it might just be a third time or it might be a fourth time i feel it's really important to not immediately give up if something doesn't work out because my first casting didn't work out i had no clue what i was doing and later i was like okay how can i make this better and yeah the second time i went in i went with confidence with a different attitude and see what happened <laughs> i also know that a lot of people ask me what would be a tip i would give my younger self or other young models or girls who want to be a model the advice I would give myself is that I had to be more in the moment like I've done so many like cool campaigns and like shows and whatever and everything went so fast that if I look back at it I'm like whoa I can't really really remember because everything was such in a rush and like I wish I would have been a little bit more in the moment and really enjoy those moments um a tip for girls who want to be a model i would say first of all finish your school most important uh, second of all um always ask your parents if they would support you because i feel good support is very important and then if you want to approach um, a modeling agency i would make um they call it digitals very basic pictures just wear a white t-shirt or a black t-shirt with jeans and stand in front of like a clean wall like white and just make really basic pictures from your face from the, from the front like this from the sides maybe the other one hair up my nails are wet so i can't show you guys <laughs> um here i will pop it up here digitals of mine and um yeah send them to your modeling agency check out the modeling agency if they have uh, other models who are doing well in the industry and then wait for response and the process how it starts with every new like agent or modeling agency is that first they're trying things out you know you have a couple of test shoots you can never expect to immediately start working um, it is a whole process and you have to trust like your agencies by that and you have to practice in front of a camera to be comfortable the same how, how i had to be comfortable speaking in front of my vlog camera if i look back at my videos a year ago i'm like Argh. That's the same with modeling. It's a lot of practice. And yeah, and then see what um, 
and see what happens that would be uh that would be my that would be my tip and a tip for young models who are actually already in industry would be to really take care of yourself and to set your limits so if you cannot handle the travel anymore or if you don't want to shoot nude or if you don't want to shoot topless then it should not be any problem to just say this feel never forced to do something you don't feel comfortable with if you don't want to shoot topless or if you don't want to shoot in a small bra then you have to say that to the photographer and they should respect that and there is nothing wrong with that and that's something i really wanted to say and bring out there and i feel also like this has been like such a huge topic because of the whole me too movement and honestly i i've heard a lot of stories but it has never ever happened to me so i can't really speak for myself but i do know that um girls are more uh, powerful to yeah show their limits and to say no for uh for these things if you guys have any other questions for me then please don't hesitate and leave a comment down below i will try to answer all of them and also don't forget to subscribe put your notifications on and if you like this video give it also a big thumbs up bye bye